What is up? What is up? What is up, FS Club? New mods again. What is this? Man, we just keep getting these mods one after another. Uh, makes me happy. Hopefully, it's making you guys happy. Plus, the new patch yesterday. We got Anderson DLC coming up next week. Uh, so, let's get into these new mods. I know you guys want to see these. So, let's just, let's just get into them. Go to the mod section, of course. Go to show all mods, like always. First, for the maps, Estancio Lapacho has an update, which I kind of expected this. Uh, the update is they fixed the ground type, ma type mopping, mappings. Ugh, sorry, can't speak today. Uh, for foliage painting. So what does that mean? That means that the grass painting will now work on there. So if you paint grass, it will grow on uh, Estancio Lapacho. Hopefully we get this for the rest of the maps. Because uh, you know it was included in the new patch that grass can actually grow, but you have to have the uh, ground type mapping in it okay so there's that i am not going to install that uh small tractors we have an update for the the agristar clear view uh let's see they fixed the mass of the front weights sound approved uh new 3d lot tail lights indoor light revisited uh and they added color choice so uh let's install that one forestry equipment we have the bio belt lf 180 log fork by toxic make some really good mods uh, let's see, the price is $1,900, and there is no change log that says on there. Okay, let's download that one. Uh, front loaders, we have an update for the Stall Super 1 with Stall Tools by Bremi456. Uh, the update, the dirt texture adjusted, adjusted the material of galvanized metal. Uh, work Working hose connectors for front loader tools. Okay, that's cool. Uh, front loader tools with connection hoses have been added. Yeah. Okay. Uh, next one we have trailers. We have the Joskin Trans Space 7027. Is this actually the first mod of Black Sheep modding that's come? I don't know. I think so though. But I really love the jo Joskin Trans Space 7000 though. Uh, Tatum trailer of the brand Joskin. Price is 23,500 and capacity is 25,000, 28,000, and 30,000. You know, uh, Black Sheep Modding, they make some of the best mods. <laughs> okay, next we have, uh, go down here to Subsoilers. We have the Con DC 301 by Matt26. Uh, price is 8,000. Max working speed is 12 kilometers per hour. And required power is 100. Okay, and the working width is 3 meters. Okay, oops, let's start downloading that. And remember guys, as soon as you guys get done downloading it, Make sure you guys go all the way out, come back in, and you give it actually a rate rating, which is the square button, guys. Okay, next we have under Cedars, we have the Concetera 3000 by Match 26. Jeez, you've been busy. Uh, price is 18,300. Max working speed is 15 kilometers per hour. Required power is 120. Capacity is 780 liters, and the working width is 3 meters. So let's install that one. Okay, go down more, more levelers. We have the Weber MTDSC 180 by Agrotechnic. Yeah, that's all I'm gonna say about that one. <laughs> uh, price is 12,500. Uh, max working speed is five kilometers per hour. And required power is 120 with a working width of one point. I believe these were actually on FS 17, if I'm not mistaken. Uh, of course, this compacts and levels out your uh, silage bits, guys. So install that one. Uh, then we go down more. We see we got lots today, guys. Uh, we have two. Uh, we have the Amazon T Pack uh, by Vertex Design. Uh, this Amazon T Pack is a passively steering packer, which can be used in the rear between the tractor and seeders as an intermediate compressor. Alternatively, it can also be used on the front. You can also also increase its weight. Okay, so that's kind of cool. Let's install that one. Then we have the Barrel Weight by Grassland Mods. Uh, price is 200 the weight is 600 kilograms which i have no idea what that is in weights uh, configuration you can do color selection and attachment of a bolt coupling possible okay cool okay then we have under packages we have placeable filling station by adz vr uh, freely placeable filling stations for seeds fertilizers liquid fertilizers and plant protection products cool Okay, let's download that one. See, we got tons of stuff today, guys. Objects. Yes, they are back. Greenhouses from Giant Software is back. 
Uh, price is 25,000 income per hour. On easy, it's gonna be 90. On farm managers, it's gonna be 60. And start from scratch, it is gonna be 40. I'm glad these are back. I just wish that we can actually, uh, that pallets would come out. Sorry, that, 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 that's just one of my wish wishes, guys, on that. Okay, and B houses are back, and they look completely different than what they did in FS17. Uh, price is 20,000. Income per hour is 25 on easy, 16 for a uh, farm manager, and 8 from start from scratch. So let's download that one. Okay, that one's done. Gameplay, nothing. Others. We have a uh, loader. Uh, this is by AS Agri. Uh, loader from Gronik. The loading plate is used to transport silage, soil, sand, timber, or other type of cargo. It's excellent for cleaning snow. Hmm. Is, is that like a little hint right there about seasons, maybe? Nah. Okay. It's construction and design ensure ease of use. Indispensable for any farm or company dealing with the municipal, forestry, or related services. Uh, price is 2800 and working with is 2.2, guys. Let's download that one. Okay, is that it? I think it is. Um, make sure we go to the latest. Make sure we got all these. Yes, 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 yes. Okay, so that is all of them. Let's go into the map and check these out, guys. Okay, guys, here we are. Uh, first, let's take a look at the weight section. Let's go over to the weights. Where are you, weights? Uh, weights. Okay, first one we have. Let's see what the first one on the list is. The first one we have is the Amazon Tea Pack. It is 5,000. I was just checking, hold on. It is the Amazon T Pack is 5,000, it is four slots, and requires 40 horsepower. So uh, we got standard configuration, which you can see right there. Textures look amazing on the hoses and everything. Wow. 80 kilogram front weight, 180 kilogram front weight. So you can even see it adding stuff onto it too. 280, 380, 480. Yes, adding those weights on there. 580, 680, 780, 880, geez. And then you can also have rear attachment or front attacher. So that is cool. Do front. Okay, so let's lease that one. And there it is right there. Really nice, nice job. Okay, next one we have is, go all the way down over here, we have the barrel weight uh, lizard. It is 200, it is two slots, and six 600 kilograms. You can change it to pretty much any color you want, which we're gonna go with the John Deere green. Wait, actually, you know what? Let's go with, uh, why does that say John Deere? Uh, I guess John Deere yellow too. Challenger, JCB. Yeah, let's go, no, not that one, John Deere. Okay, without trailer hitch or with trailer hitch. It's $90 extra if you get with trailer hitch. So there's that. Yeah, that's cool. You can actually see stuff in it. Huh. Three point leakage. Okay, so there are those guys. Okay, next we're going to go to is uh, Cedars. Where are you, Cedars? Okay, I believe this is in the Cedars. Uh, let's see. There it is. The Cetera 3000 is 18,300. It can do pretty much anything, really. Uh, wheat, barley, oats, soybeans. Yeah. It doesn't, it doesn't fertilize, though. Uh, let's see. And you also have to cultivate, so. It's 120 horsepower required. Holds 780 liters. It is seven slots. Working with the three meters. Uh, there is no options on it, though. Well, pretty nice textures, pretty nice models. Okay, really nice, guys. Okay, next we have under, I believe it's under subsoilers. And that is right there, the DC-301. It is 8,000. It is 3 meter width. 100 horsepower is required for it. And it can also be hooked up with the Cetera 3000. So basically you can have this up and then you can have the Cetera behind it. 
So you can basically be plowing and seeding at the same time, guys. So doing two things at once. And there it is right there. So you basically have this one first and then this one next. And then if you want to have a wait in the front, <laughs> there you guys go. Next we have the big ones. Let's go to trailers. Should be right over here. Where are you? There they are. So beautiful I had these back in the game. Uh, it's 23,500. It is eight, eight slots, guys. 30,000 liters. You can change the main color to either green or black. Uh, you can change the design color uh, to green or gray. And I always have trouble getting over. There we go. Room color to yellow or gray. You have capacity is 25,000, 28,000, or 30,000. Will brand Trailborg, Michelin. You have standard, you have wide. Design, you have standard. You have, ooh, mud guards. Or standard. Okay. So let's do a 25,000 liter one at the regular color right there. We'll do, oops, let's just go down to the big one. And we'll do this one. Oh, that, that's very black. But oh, no, not yet. But gray do that uh, don't don't look too bad it's very shiny on top you can see that ow <laughs> wide tires and mud guards yeah that's very shiny okay there's the smaller one uh wind pack joskins and blue black sheet modding always does amazing work never talk too much about black sheet modding wind pack Oh, there's the wind pack right there. It's a really nice trailers right there. And they do got back hitches on there, so you can hook up more than one. Okay. Um, let me see what the next one is in. Okay, the next one we have is right over here in miscellaneous, and it is the loader. It is 2,800. You can pretty much put any crop you want in there. It is nine slots. Uh, required horsepower is 60 and it can hold up to 1500 liters uh, and with this 2.2 you can't change any of the colors on it though okay there it is right there guys pretty nice pretty nice okay the next thing we have uh, i think it's in the leveler section where the levelers is. there it is and that is the weber silage compressor dsc 180 it is 12500 uh four slots and required horsepower is 120 you can change the if i have a pto or hydraulic so you can have pto or hydraulic okay and there that is right there the dsc 180 really nice i mean we're, look at these mods today we got we got a pretty good uh, amount of good mods Okay, last thing we got with uh, equipment is, of course, uh, should be under uh, maybe forestry, Wait, actually, maybe wheel loaders, I, I don't know. Uh, looking for the log fork. Nope, not in there. Um, forestry, maybe? Where's forestry? There's forestry. Nope, I don't see it in there. Okay, where are you? Uh, wheel loaders. That would be in the wheel loaders. Front loaders? I highly doubt it, though. Log four. Oh, there it is right there. The LF-180 uh, bio belts is 1,900. It is two slots. You change the color to pretty much anything you want. We're just going to keep it at black. And there we go. There is the equipment bonds for today, guys. Uh, let me know what you guys think in the comment section below, guys. Okay, next, we're going to go over to our placeable area. Let's go over here. Yay. Yesterday we got the windmills, right guys? Today we got some good other stuff. So, uh, miscellaneous. Where is the first one? Oh, we also got this too. I forgot about this. I almost forgot about these. We have our uh, refills. We have refill for seeds. Just put that one right there. We have refills for herbicides. 
And these are five slots. See, four, five, six slots. They're 1,000 a piece. There's that one. And then there's this one. Okay, so we have, what was it? Seeds. Yeah, seeds, herbicide, liquid fertilizer, and fertilizer. So pretty much anything you really need on the farm. So there's the seed placement. Uh, what is that? Fertilizer, I said? I think so. Hold on. Um, herbicide. Okay, herbicide. And then fertilizer. And wait, that one should be liquid fertilizer. Hold on. I'm getting so confused. Okay, yes, okay. Fertilizer. Liquid fertilizer. Sorry, I was about to say, because these are like in barrels and stuff. <laughs> Get myself confused now. Okay, next ones we got. Let's go over here. Uh, yes, the bee house and the greenhouse are back. We have greenhouse for lettuce and tomato. Uh, $60 per hour for me, because I'm playing on farm manager mode right now. Uh, $10 a day, it is four slots for each of these. So let's go check these ones out. Let's put that one right there. And while we're doing this, we are actually going to be fast forwarding our time so we can make sure that we actually get the money. Okay. Um, right now, oh wait, no, actually we're not gonna get no money because I don't have nothing to grow, so. And I don't have no manure or anything, so uh, let's take a look at the next one, guys. Next one we have is the tomatoes. My dad plant. Hold on a second. One second. Getting confused today. Okay, I planted the lettuce. Okay, so tomatoes, 25,000. Here we go. As you guys can see, this one is more of a squarish. Okay, so there's that one. And here is this one. It's pretty much almost like the other one, except for the doors. I don't think the doors open. No, doors don't even open this time. And 17, you can actually go into them. Yep, can't go in them. Now I'm very disappointed. I like going in them. Okay, then last but not least we have is... The Bee House. Uh, let's try to turn this thing. How's that saying too close? That's not too close. Okay, there we go. Okay, and then there's the bee house, guys. Can we go in there? Nope. But I do like, it does look a lot better than it did on 17. Yep, there's bees. But we can turn up the speed on that to see if that actually works. Um, there we go with the speed. And I'm gonna also turn off my help window. You can see bees flying all around. I was hoping that we'd get the, uh, the bee house that, you know, actually you had to fill it up and you get pallets and all that stuff. Same with the greenhouses. Hopefully one day we get something like that. Yes, we did get money, guys. Okay, so that is the mods that we got today, guys. Let me know what you guys think in the comment section below. Hopefully you guys did like these. Uh, if you guys did like this video, make sure you guys pound that like button. And if you have not subbed, make sure you guys do. And like always, have an awesome day, farmers. Peace.